Hello, Internet. Father's Day is coming up, and why is it that dads are so hard to shop for? Is it just my dad? Because basically, if my dad wants anything, he buys it for himself. So, this year, I'm setting my sights on his sentimental side and making a photo transfer on a piece of wood, because that's manly, and I'm using a favorite photo of me and my brother and sisters from when we were little. If you wanna make your own, here's what you'll need. Sealer, clear tape, printable labels, school glue, a photo, sandpaper, foam-tipped paintbrush, matte decoupage medium, an old gift card, craft knife, and a pre-cut wooden plaque. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is prepare our surface for printing. Now we're using a sheet of printable labels, but here's the thing, we're not actually using the labels. What we want is the waxy paper underneath them. So remove the labels, you can either throw them away or stick them on a piece of parchment or wax paper so you can use them again later. Once you have the labels off, peel off all of the rest of the stickers. Okay, once you've removed all of the labels, we want to reinforce our backing. So we're going to take some clear tape and place it along the perforation lines. This will keep it from falling apart when we're doing our printing. Now it's time to prep this surface for printing. The first thing I'm gonna do is cover my table. Okay, so we are protecting our surface and grabbing our can of spray sealer. Give it a good shake. and then give your paper with the blank side facing up a nice coat of sealer. Let that dry for 10 minutes. Okay, our coat of sealer has dried completely and now we're adding a layer of school glue. You can use any glue that dries clear, but this is inexpensive and dries pretty quickly. You want enough to cover it in a thin layer, but you don't want it to be like too thick, so use your judgment and brush it on and then let this dry completely because we're going to run it through an inkjet printer next. So, no stickiness left, about half an hour. Okay, while the paper is drying, let's tackle the photo. Scan the photo into your computer and open it in a photo editing program. I wanted a vintage look, so I changed the photo to black and white and added a hint of color back. I want focus to be on the people, so I traced our silhouettes with the magnetic lasso tool then copied the silhouette into a second layer and made the background color partially transparent. This allows some of the wood grain to peek through. Okay, so once you have your image all edited and your transfer sheet completely dry, print out your image onto the transfer sheet. Now once you do this, make sure not to touch the image because it will smudge. We're gonna set that aside and prepare our surface. So now we're going to prepare our surface, which is this. You can find these pre-cut wood plaques at the craft store, and they're usually pretty smooth, but I'm gonna give this one a rub with a piece of sandpaper just to make sure that our image will transfer completely. Okay, once you have that sanded, just take a paper towel and dust it off. Okay, so now it's time to do our transfer. You're going to take your matte decoupage medium and your foam paintbrush and brush on a thin, even coat. So our matte decoupage medium is what is going to stick to our image, pull it off of the paper, and make it stick to your wooden board. So it's important to apply this quickly and evenly so that we can stick the image on while it's still nice and wet. And working quickly, take your image, center it over your plaque. Don't worry if it doesn't reach completely to the edges because the matte medium will not have a sticky or shiny look. Now grab an old gift card or credit card and smooth completely. You wanna work out any little air bubbles under there that might keep your image from transferring. Once this is smoothed down completely, you want to let it sit for at least an hour and a half to let it dry completely. I've even done this and let it sit overnight and it was fine. All right, so we've let this dry for a couple of hours, and now it's time to peel it off. This is the magic moment. Ah. It really is like magic. Okay, so you're gonna have some little glue bits hanging off. No big deal. 
flip it over, grab a craft knife, and just trim those away. So there we have it. Now, if you're going to be using this, I don't know, as a coaster or something, you're going to want to give it a coat of a waterproof sealer. But I made this for my dad's bookshelf in his office, so I think it's perfect just the way it is. But I wanted to give you one other gift giving option. If you do your photo transfer on a round piece of wood, this is a little birch slab that I bought at the craft store, you can attach a leather strap with two brass thumbtacks and make a little wall hanging, which I think is awfully cute. Either way, pretty sure that I've knocked it out of the park. I'm totally gonna make my dad cry on Father's Day in a good way, unlike when I was a teenager. I'll see you guys next time.